Hi, I'm Miss Haley with the Huntsville Madison County Public Library. And for today's STEM activity, I'm going to show you guys how to make a blood model, which sounds really ominous, but it's actually very simple and really cool. This is a model of our blood and its makeup using everyday household objects um, and food. It's really simple. I recommend this activity for any elementary age school child. It's also very good for preschool and toddlers with some parental supervision. Um, it makes a really easy way to illustrate what makes up our blood um, in a simple and fun way. So for this activity, you're going to need a um, recycled bottle. It can be a water bottle or a soda bottle, and you do need its lid. Um, my lid is a little mismatched here because I realized, oh no, I need a lid. So you do need its lid and make sure it is clean. You want it to be nice and clean so that we can see what's happening in there and you want the label removed. Then you are going to need some white mini marshmallows. Um, you could do this with other mini marshmallows. That would be fine. You just have to, to know um, and have a little caveat. These are going to be our white blood cells, so we want white. White mini marshmallows some Cheerios. You just you can use pretty much any donut shaped um, cereal. You just want a donut shape and uh, you want them to be smaller than your mini marshmallows. So keep that in mind. If you're going to go for a bigger cereal, you might need to scale up and maybe change your container as well. I'm going to scooch those off to the side. You're also going to need some yellow food coloring, some sprinkles, White sprinkles would be more accurate for what we're doing, but I don't have any on hand, so we're going for fun rainbow sprinkles today. Um, you could also use white uncooked rice for this as well. And then last of all, you're going to need some water. Um, I prefer water in a container that's easy to pour from, but if you're doing this at home and you have a sink right there, that works well as well. So I'm gonna set that aside. And we're going to get started. So blood is obviously a very important part of our body. Blood is, does anybody know what blood does? Blood carries oxygen through our body. It helps us fight off illnesses. It helps us heal wounds. So if we get a cut, it's our blood that helps us heal it. Even though it bleeds, maybe it bleeds out of that cut, it is also there to help us heal that cut. And it carries nutrients throughout the body, as well as carrying oxygen around the body, which is very, very important. Um, it also carries nutrients in the blood supply to the various parts of our body and our organs and helps us survive. So blood is a very, very important part of our body. So we're going to set our bottle here. And we're going to start putting stuff in there. You can't see the top, but we're going to start putting some stuff in there. So. The bulk of what blood is made out of is, the, the liquid part, um, is plasma, which is a thin liquid um, that's kind of yellow in color. It's a very pale yellow. And that's what holds all of our cells um, that are in the blood. There's a couple different types that we're gonna talk about, and it's what carries these nutrients throughout the body. So it's what makes blood a liquid. So to color our blood, the water is going to be our plasma, but we're not gonna add that until later, but we are first thing first going to add some yellow food coloring. Then we'll add our water. So I'm gonna do just a couple drops, two, two drops down there. It looks kind of reddish orange right now, but I promise it will be yellow. Um, as long as you are using yellow food coloring, it will be yellow, it just doesn't look it. Then we're gonna fill it up part way with some water and we're gonna watch that turn yellow. So I like to add mine first. That way as I add the water, it kind of mixes itself, but you can also do this um, by adding afterwards and then shaking it, putting the lid on and shaking it, that works too. I'm gonna very carefully start pouring my water in. I'm gonna fill my bottle up about two thirds, maybe a little bit more than two thirds, but not quite three quarters of the way out full. I'm gonna keep filling, that's really yellow. Maybe I should have just done one drop. That's definitely not pale yellow, is it? It's super yellow. 
that's okay. So our plasma is not quite this yellow. I'm just gonna pour all of my water in there, I guess. That works. This plasma is not quite this yellow. This is very bright. Um, maybe do one drop, I'm not sure. But plasma is our liquid, so that's our base for our blood. So there's our plasma, our liquid that's gonna hold all our different cells. And now we're gonna add our first type of cell. It's the type that I think most people know about, and that is our red blood cells. There are more red blood cells than other types of cells usually. Um, if you have a really high white blood cell count, that usually means that your body is sick and it needs those white blood cells to fight something off, like an illness. So that's why our doctors sometimes look at our white blood cell count to see if how healthy we are, see if we um, have something going on that we might not know. But we are gonna do red blood cells. So red blood cells are kind of a donut shape. They don't actually have a hole. So ours have a hole because this is just a model, but um, red blood cells have sort of an indentation there, but it doesn't become a completely a hole. But it's kind of a donut shape. And the red blood cells, their job is to carry oxygen. That's, the, that's their main job, is to carry oxygen through the different parts of our body. And they pick that up at the lungs. I'm going to start adding mine into my water here. This is super gross. Cheerios. So it carries the red blood cells and the oxygen through our body. And it picks that up in the lungs, and then the heart pumps it through our body. The body has, like I said, more red blood cells than any other type of cell. Fun fact, we need a lot of those. So I'm putting in lots and lots of Cheerios. You can do however many you want, really, um, for your blood model. Just make sure you have more of them than you do of the mini marshmallows or the sprinkles or rice you could also use rice keep adding they're just kind of floating on top they're not really getting in there that's okay we'll shake it up later and then it'll disperse a little bit so obviously you wouldn't want to eat this um i think that goes without saying but i'm going to say it just in case anybody needs me to tell them don't eat this uh you could it wouldn't hurt you but it'd be really gross don't do it so our next type of cell, we're going to use our mini marshmallows for. This is white blood cells. White blood cells, there should be fewer of these in your body. If you're sick, um, you might have a few more than somebody who's healthy, who doesn't have anything wrong with them, because like I said, these help us fight off illness. Um, some white blood cells fight bacteria and viruses. Um, others produce antibodies. So if we have already been sick with something and our body's like, hey, I remember you, long time no see. Um, we'll have some white blood cells that recognize that illness and they'll put out antibodies and they'll fight it off better than something they've never had before. So white blood cells are big. They're bigger than red blood cells and so that's why we're using uh, mini marshmallows. And they're also, I'm gonna move this a little forward because they're just sitting right on top there, that's okay. We'll mix in later. And then last of all, we have platelets. So platelets are these teeny tiny oval shaped cells um, that are actually bone marrow and they are what helps our blood clot. So when we get a wound, if we cut ourselves, if we get a paper cut, this is what's going to help our blood seal that off. So when we get a wound, our body goes, ah, and it send blood towards it, that's why we bleed, and these seal that off. So they'll come and they'll seal it off and then they'll kind of crust up and make a scab, which is super gross, and they'll seal that wound off. And eventually, under that scab, the, the platelets will dry and they'll seal the wound so it can't keep bleeding, and also so things can't get into our blood supply. And then while it's sealing it off, skin will grow and grow back together underneath that and then eventually your scab can go away. Hopefully you don't pick it away. So we're just going to put some platelets in there. I'm just going to get a spoonful. 
Um, platelets are usually kind of whitish. Um, and I think white rice might white rice might actually be a better representation of platelets here. I'm gonna just you guys can't see what I'm doing, but I'm cupping my hand around here and forming a little funnel so that I don't send sprinkles everywhere, just in here. All right. And we have our blood model. That's all we need for our blood. That's what's in our blood. Just those four things. It's super simple. So again, we have our plasma, which is the liquid part. We have our red blood cells, our white blood cells, and red blood cells are usually red. Sorry, guys. And our platelets. We're going to close this up. I'm going to put my lid on here really tight. I'm going to give it a shake. Get that dispersed. Those are going to want to flip most of the time. But you guys can see our blood model. Pretty cool and it makes a really fun way to illustrate blood while also talking about the parts. I hope you guys have fun with this and learn some things about blood. There's some really cool things that blood can do for our body and I'll see you next time.